Hi, it's Alexander from Tilda. In this video, I'm going to show you how text animation works. First off, if you're not already signed up for Tilda, I recommend that you go ahead and do so. You'll be able to activate a two week free trial period, which will open up all of Tilda's features. After signing up, we go straight into the Tilda dashboard. Our first step is to create a website and give it a name. Then you have to create a new page. Here you have the opportunity to choose from hundreds of categorized templates or start from scratch. Next, we use an intuitive interface to add blocks one by one, whether it's one of our over 500 pre-designed blocks or a zero block that allows you to create unique designs. Once you've edited a page, you need to publish it by assigning it a URL address. You can then share the link with your colleagues, friends, or customers. Let's move on to editing the website. The first thing I do is copy the template ID and paste it into my website. To do this, I go to my dashboard, click create new page, scroll down and click enter template ID at the very bottom and paste a number. That's all there is to it. The template with the animation has now been added to my project. It all looks a bit weird at this point, but let's try and get our heads around it. To do that, let's go into the zero block editor. To get a good understanding of how this effect works, I'll open up the layer panel. By the way, if you don't know how to open up the layer panel, I recommend that you get familiar with all the shortcuts in zero block. And now, to show you how this effect works, I'll hide all the layers. By practicing with this animation type, you'll understand how text composition with a large number of animated elements work. As you remember, the animation starts with the white background on which the text appears. Let's find these elements in the layers and open them. Let's see what the settings are for these elements. Click on the element, open the setting, Go to Step-by-Step -step Animation, click Edit, and we'll see the following setting. The event is set as an element on screen. This means that the animation will appear on the screen, regardless of the user's actions. The trigger is set as on Windows button. The trigger offset is zero, and there's no loop. Now, let's take a look at the steps. Step one replaces the start step and makes the beginning of the animation transparent. To do this, we need to set the duration parameter to zero seconds and the opacity parameter to zero. In step two, we'll set the opacity to 100% and adjust the duration to 0.7 seconds. This way our animation will fade in and rise up. It will rise because we set the move parameter to minus 100 pixels on the Y axis. Now let's take a look at step three. In the third step, the element becomes transparent again for 0.4 seconds. And the key feature is that the delay occurs within four seconds. Step two also has a delay, 0.7 seconds. Step one has no delay at all. The animation works as follows. We run the sequence, the text appears after 0.4 seconds, stands still for four seconds, and then disappears. The rest of the text blocks have similar sequences. Step one, transparency. Step two is a slight delay. Step three adds delay of 3.8 seconds. That's the main trick. Next, let's show the text layer with the word website. As you can see, the text is moving. That is understandable, since the word create goes up. There's no motion setting here but there is an opacity parameter. The most important thing is the delay, two seconds. And in step three, there is a delay of 0.4 seconds. So the object appears and then disappears. As you may remember, we have a few other phrases next, online stores and landing pages. We have a good understanding of how animation works thanks to the delay parameter. We can control the display of some elements depending on how many seconds there are visible on the screen. Next, the animation unfolds as follows. A shape element appears. 
it moves along with the x-axis for minus 1407 pixels. And its step 2 adds a delay of 6.3 seconds, that is, after all the animation on a white background has been played with a duration of 0.8 seconds. Then other elements appear. They have very similar properties. The largest yellow semicircle increases in size. This is made with the Scale tool, which compresses the element to 10% of its original size. And when you move for one second, it grows to 120%, rotates, and has an easing parameter called Elastic Fin. It shakes the element a little. All other elements appear the same way. Let's save the animation setting, publish the page, and take another look at how it all comes together. Appear, delay, delay, disappear, appear, black bar, text, disappear, appear, and finally the semicircles. That's it. Use animation in your projects, and thank you for choosing Tilda.